Hello students, welcome to BioSmart Academy. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss about the important part of the immunoglobulin that I uh, that is a continuation part of yesterday's lectures. Okay, see, this is the heavy chain and this is the light chain. Okay, clear. See, yesterday I already told you that this point and this point, this both point are basically what? This both point are antigen binding site. Okay, that is this both points are what? This both point are antigen binding site. Okay, antigen binding site. Okay, now see, actually immunoglobulin is what? It is basically a protein. Okay, and it is a protein that why that why it is basically having N terminal and C terminal of heavy chain and terminal of and C terminal of heavy chain while N terminal and C terminal of light chain N terminal and C terminal that is of light chain clear now in this immunoglobulin structure there are basically two types of uh, region are present one is variable region what one is variable region that is this region variable region and one is constant region okay constant region okay variable region is denoted by v okay and constant region are denoted by c okay and this both and this both variable region and constant region this both variable region and constant region are present are present on both the heavy chains and light chain okay Variable region of heavy chain are denoted as VH and variable region of light chain are denoted as VL while constant region of heavy chain denoted by CH while constant region of light chain denoted by CL okay so till this I think you got clear idea about the variable chain and light and constant region about the variable regions and constant region of both heavy chain and light chains i think now you got clear idea now i will make it clear that where this variable region and constant region are present okay now uh, let us look a, a fresh diagram of immunoglobulin where i give you a clear idea about the variable region and constant region of the immunoglobulin structure okay see this is the heavy chain okay this is the heavy chain and this is the light chain this is a light chain okay this is a light chain now basically the variable region okay the variable region of heavy chain and light chain are present at the n terminus okay what is the n terminus of heavy chain this is the n terminus and this is a c terminus this is the n this is a c while in case of light chain, this is a N, this is a C. This is a N, this is a C. Okay. And this heavy chain and light chain are joined by SS bond. I already told in yesterday's lecture. That is SS bond, SS bond. Okay. That is SS bond, SS bond. Okay. So, where this variable and constant regions are present. Okay. Now, variable region are present at the n terminus of both heavy chain and light chain okay in case of light chain the variable region in case of light chain the variable region and constant region okay light chain in case of light chain the variable region and constant region are of same size are of same size okay are of same size means if i zoom it out this picture if i zoom it out this light chain picture okay then see this is a light chain okay and this is the n terminus and this is a c terminus okay so variable region and constant region in case of light chain and heavy chain are same size okay that is this is a variable region of light chain vl and this is the constant region of light chain cl and the size is same that is 110 amino acid amino acid okay so i zoom it out this picture of light chain where i saw you and i make a uh, make a clear idea about the variable 
region of the light chain and constant region of the light chain that is this and this okay variable region of light chain present towards the n terminal while constant region of light chain present towards the c terminal both variable region of light chain and constant region of light chain having same have of same size is of same size that is 110 amino acid okay so this is about the variable region of light chain and variable region of uh, and constant region of light chain okay now let us look about the variable region of heavy chain and constant region of heavy chain okay see if i only draw the heavy chain okay this is the n terminus and this is a c terminus okay this is the n terminus this is a c terminus i just uh, um, uh, make it clear uh, very clear uh, about the idea of this variable chains of and constant regions and variable regions of both heavy and light chain because this is very important you should know about these regions because uh, because this region is basically are the regions where the very uh, where you have you have to learn about this region because these regions are uh, basically the antigen binding regions okay uh, i will discuss it later first uh, look at the variable regions and constant region of heavy chain okay see in case of heavy chain in case of heavy chain the constant region is three to four times longer than the variable region okay constant region is three to four times longer than the variable region okay in case of uh, heavy chain the variable region is this vh okay and this is 110 amino acid long what 110 amino acid long like that of like that of variable region of light chain same like that of variable region of light chain it is 110 amino acid long okay but unlike that of variable region of light uh, constant region of light chain the constant region of heavy chain is three to four times longer that is this is one constant region of heavy chain ch1 this is second constant region of heavy chain ch2 and this is third constant region of heavy chain that is ch three so there are basically three constant region of heavy chain and one variable region of the heavy chain and the size of one variable region of heavy chain is 110 amino acid while the size of this three constant region of heavy chain is about 330 to 440 amino acid long so here you can see that the constant region of heavy chains the constant region of heavy chain is three to four times more longer than the variable region of heavy chain but in case of light chain but in case of light chain the uh, variable region of light chain is just equal to constant region of light chain that is the size of variable region of light chain and constant region of light chain is equal that is 110 amino acid long but in case of heavy chain the variable region of heavy chain is of only 110 amino acid long while the constant region of heavy chain is about 330 to 440 amino acid long it means that the constant region that the constant region of the that the constant region of the heavy chain is much more longer than the variable region of heavy chain as well as variable and constant region of light chains so this is the basic concept about the variable region and constant region in case of a immunoglobulin structure now uh, you get a clear idea about the immunoglobulin structure about the antigen binding site about the heavy chain and light chains bonds about the variable region and constant regions all you get a clear idea uh, if you combine both yesterday's and today's lecture okay now another important thing that i going to mention here that the end terminal end of both the light and heavy chain come together okay they come together to form the antigen binding site means the antigen that is bind is here that is n terminus okay of both the heavy and light chain so here we know that see i make you clear by clearing this figure and draw another figure so that you can get a clear idea see this is the heavy chain okay this is a heavy chain this is a heavy chain and this is a light chain this is a light chain a light chain n terminus c terminus 
n terminus c terminus and you know very well that this this is the antigen bonding site this is the antigen bonding site so what does this mean this means that the n terminal region of both light chain and both heavy chain are going to bind with an antigen so the n terminus region are basically the antigen binding site so n terminus region of both light chain and heavy chain so n terminus region of both light chain and heavy chain are the antigen binding site at the antigen binding site so n terminus region of both light chain and heavy chain are the antigen binding site so this is all about the variable region and constant region and and the antigen binding region so if a question was asked in the examination that which terminus are basically bind with antigen so basically the answer will be antigen binding site is the n terminus region okay now next move to the uh, next thing that i want to discuss with you is that see so till now i discussed with you about the antigen binding site about the bond by which heavy chain and light chains are attached about the uh, basically class in case of light chain kappa lambda in case of heavy chain there are five classes uh, that is this all things are discussed in yesterday's lecture about the variable and uh, constant regions of both heavy and light chain i discuss all these things now one more thing that i want to discuss about that diversity diversity of both variable region of both light and heavy chain is restricted to three small hyper variable region okay that is if we look at the diversity of both variable region of vl and vh okay what is this vl and vh vl and vh are the basically variable region of light chain and variable region of heavy chain so variable region of light chain and variable region of heavy chain so the diversity of both these light chain and heavy chain the diversity the diversity of both uh, uh, of both this light chain and heavy chain is restricted to three small hyper variable region in each chain and that region is known as cdr that region is known as cdr so get a clear idea about this cdr okay so what is cdr cdr is stand for c for complementary d for determining r for region so cdr stand for complementary determining region okay see i wrote it down in a clear way that is cdr is stand for complementary complementary determining complementary determining region so cdr stand for complementary determining region okay so cdr basically stand for complementary determining region so what is this complementary determining region it is nothing but it is the small restricted part of both variable light chain and uh, variable of heavy chain and that small restricted part is up to three small region that is if you imagine that this is a variable region of the heavy chain okay this is a variable region of the heavy chain that is vh and this is a variable region of light chain vl so if we restrict it into three small region see this is one region this is two region and this is three region this is one this is two this is three so if we restrict this part to three small region three small region if we restrict it then this part is uh, uh, basically known as complementary determining region okay so this three restricted region is known as complementary determining region and this complementary determining region okay this complementary determining region are basically i already mentioned that three small part okay see i uh, draw uh, in a zoom out manner zoom in okay if i zoom in this structure okay see if i take this structure okay see one second see first of all uh heavy chain okay see this is the n terminus this is a c terminus okay if i uh, zoom zoom this n terminus region where the variable region is present okay if i zoom this okay then i find that this type of structure okay see and this is a variable region that is of heavy chain and 
the three small restricted region that is one two three these three small restricted region of the variable region of heavy chain are known as are known as cdr this three restricted region are known as cdr that is complementary determining region and this three restricted region that is one is known as cdr one uh, 2 is known as CDR2 and 3 is known as CDR3 and these three restricted regions are known as CDR1, CDR2 and CDR3 out of which CDR3 is the most variable region is the most variable is the most variable region is the most variable region out of this CDR3 is the most variable region most variable region okay and and if we left uh, the this three part the remaining part the remaining part of the variable region is known as framework region and this remaining part is known as i just mentioned this small portion okay and there, uh, because from here ch is start that is constant region of heavy chain one okay that is ch2 then ch3 and so the this three part is known as cdr okay that is cdr1 cdr2 and cdr3 and where cdr3 where cdr3 is the most variable region while the remaining part this remaining part this remaining part is known as framework region this remaining part is known as what this remaining part is known as framework region okay this remaining part is known as framework region f r a m e work w o r k that is framework region okay uh, i clear it out then you will got a clear idea get a clear idea okay this remaining part is known as framework region okay this remaining part is known as framework framework region framework region okay framework region so and this region is basically a constant region constant region okay so now uh, you got a clear idea about the variable region about the constant region okay and in the variable region there are three small restricted part present in both light chain and heavy chain and i clear it out by zoom in this picture where i draw three small part of the variable region that is one two three that is known as first part known as cdr1 second part known as cdr2 and third part known as cdr3 okay cdr3 and out of that cdr3 is the most variable region while the remaining part of both variable heavy chain and uh, both variable region of heavy chain and variable region of light chain are known as framework region here i mention about the framework region where uh, basically this framework region is the constant part of the variable region so that's all for today's lecture if you like it then please share with your friends and please subscribe because this channel is made only for your benefit okay and if you see all these videos you will definitely get a good rank in csr so please subscribe my channel okay for more videos in tomorrow's lecture i will deduce about the uh, i will deduct the antibody structure with the help of some proteins okay then uh, i discuss all the immunoglobulin classes okay heavy chains of immunoglobulin classes so this lecture is very much important because many students have no idea about this variable region and constant region clear cut so i made it clear if you have any doubt then please ask in the comment box till then thank you